I have no idea what this does, but I'll take it. Wow, that was um, useful. Hello guys, and welcome to my playthrough of Vambrace Cold Soul. I'm very sad, because this music is very sad. So, uh, let's just jump into the game to make me less sad. I, I, I actually don't know what this game is, so um, let's, let's just jump right into it. But it looks interesting. Um, I thought, why not play it? I mean, huh. So I, I decided to play it. And that's why we're here now. <laughs> oh, this is going to be awesome. Playing a game I know nothing about. <coughs> All right, this is the place I told you guys about. It looks like the spooks got here first. Was it really worth leaving our regular path to come all the way out here? We are not patrolling today. Besides, if we don't find more supplies soon, we'll all be in trouble. Have you a better suggestion? I'm not the one that will have to tell Celeste we came big empty-handed. Shut your pie holes. I, I don't know why I decided this, to get this voice to a female, but like... Uh, uh, shut your pie holes. Who knows what's lurking up there? Just look around and see if you can find anything special, useful that's special. Take out the tutorial graphic above and move out. What? What? The character can move left and right on the field. Yeah, 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 kinda, yeah. Okay. Alright. And, okay. The command box on the bottom left displays your interactive options with the environment around you. Okay. The command box on the bottom right displays the inventory, bio, codex, and map options. The inventory displays the items your team is carrying. The map displays your current location, destination, and field encounters. The bio displays your team members' stats, skills, status effects, and equipped relics. I'm sure I'll understand all that when I get into the game. <laughs> I, 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 oh, 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 this is the bio. Learn more about your team members, stats, skills, uh, stat effects, and equipped relics here. You can choose between the characters in your team. The heart icon indicates health, the flame icon indicates vigor. The sword icon indicates combat and re represents the character's prowess in, in fighting. So choose the one that has the most of that for combat. Okay, got it. The lockpick icon indicates light and represents the character's ability to scavenge. The stars icon indicates merchant tree and represents the character's ability to negotiate with merchants. The eye icon indicates awareness and represents the individual's ability to spot traps. The party's success is determined by the ally with the highest rating. The tent icon indicates overwatch and represents the character's ability to take care of the party while camping. Oh my god, so much information. I think I'm gonna... Get information overload. Combat skills can be prepared performed while fighting. Normal skills are your character's default abilities. The flourish skill can only be used once it has been charged with flourish points. Let me guess. The next part is the so where you're gonna tell me what flourish points are. No? Okay. This section displays your party's equipment. You can check the value and benefit of equipping various relics here. Use the formation button to change the arrangement of your team members. You may need to dismiss a party member to recruit new comrades. But why did this sudden amb ambience disappear? Oh, there we go. It's back now. Whew, I got worried there for a second. Oh my god. This is your team's inventory. <laughs> the skull icon represents Helion, the currency used to buy and sell items. The scale icon represents capacity and indicates how much your team can carry before suffering the overweight debuff. Each section of the inventory categorizes items by the same type. Most items can be sold to merchants or removed from your inventory. However, quest items will remain with you. Relics represented by the diamond icon may be equipped to improve stats and upgrade skills. Some quest items may also be equipped. So can I can I move somehow? Oh, there we go. Ha! Huh. Can I attack? Do I, do I have an attack button? No, that's okay. That so like the map displays your current location. Is, is, the, is, is am I the screaming person? I I I don't I don't understand. Left bio, uh, he can use strike, deal combat damage, pray 
So do I just walk and then hope I don't hit anything? A door. Is it locked? Open well, open it already and keep your guard up. Okay, uh, interaction icons represent a variety of ways you can engage the environment around you. E okay. A red X on the inter interaction icon means you can neither access the area nor engage with an object. And uh, you need to hold the interact button to complete your action by certain... It makes sense in case you misclick, you know. So, uh, how do I click the button? I, just, I, just, I apparently just... Okay, I just click. Good. This is a bad person. No, that's just a frozen person. Mm -hmm. I found something. Looks like a chest of some sort. Well, what are you waiting for? Okay, here goes. Silence. <laughs> Silence. I can't open it. What? Oh, mother, help me. It's a miracle I survived this long in the company of fools. Why Why do I do this? Just press and hold the button in the kit. The tutorial graphic of Voila. It's usually a good idea to have someone with a high uh, slight stress s s stat in your team to do the dirty work. Am I trying to make it Irish or Scottish? I... I Understand. Containers like this may hold valuable loot. A high slide will lead to better chances of finding loot. Chests will all be opened by a party member with a high slide. Scavengers with low slide may have difficulty opening chests. Will often find less loot. So, so how how do I change character again? Do I just? Oh, there we go. So I just press here. So who has good side? You have good side. Okay, so I I pick you. No, I I don't I don't pick you. Oh, cause that's how I do it, huh? Yeah, yeah. Hold it down. I I got stuff. <coughs> yes, uh, different from the ones back in the dinner. Forget the chest. Try checking your inventory yet, uh, and character bios and indicate it in the bottom right corner of the screen. I'm just gonna stop now. Wait, whoa. There's nothing. It's it's empty. What what do you want me to look at here? This? Robin thread filled with flint, survival gear, and a toolbox full of gear you nails uh useful for aspiring craftsmen and wood planks. I mean I guess that's useful. I should probably use the, the combat person, uh, not to be rude, but like the combat person would probably be the best choice. Well, she is technically the best choice for everything. <laughs> okay, well, I guess she's the one I'm going to use then. Uh. It's freezing out here. You think the spooks are getting close? Did you forget to bring the Geistometer again? We should keep going. No use going... Oh, no, no use going back to where we came if they are. Stay put for so too long and they'll catch up. Remember, if your health and vigor drops to zero, we will be all once spooking this place. Let's go. I feel uneasy. This place gives me the creeps. The red bound, the character's heart indicates health. If a character's health drops to zero, he or she will die. Damage to health is usually incurred during combat. Usually. Okay, the yellow bound, your character hard indicates Vega. A character will also die if Vega drops to zero. Damage to Vega is usually incurred through the stress of exploration. You gain flourish points through critical action bonuses and finishing turns during combat. Accumulating enough will activate your flourish. Okay. You spring a trap that spreads your personic wave, causing it to strange tension. What? I didn't know that was a thing. <coughs> Another trap. Best to have someone with a high awareness stat in your team to avoid them. Traps are dangerous feature of the SNR. Your party leader on the entire team could incur damage from the trap. Characters with a high awareness will warn your party from imminent dangers and allow you to avoid unexpected casualties from traps. Characters with low awareness will trigger traps more easily. Some actions have a probability of failure. When you see the screen script, it means your attempt was a success. And that means failed. Okay. The gray script means you missed and the enemy has evaded your attack. The blue script means you have scored a critical. Okay, so who is good at avoiding you? Are you good at that? Are you, are you good at avoiding traps? Awareness? No, no. This person is the best awareness person, I think. So, um... 
Yeah, it was kind of embarrassing, I must say. I just saw something more in the distance. Get your weapons ready. Or move in the distance some more. <laughs> ready and think fast. Let's make sure we all get home today. Let's go, men. Go get people. You've encountered a hostile enemy. Your team is located on the left and the enemy team is positioned to the right. Okay. Each team has four slots uh, rising to in value from the center. The team's character hearts have slot icons in mm, noting their space. This is confusing. What the bottom bar? Is that like when they attack? The bottom bar displays turn order. Okay, that's what it does. Using the character HUD. Slot icons. A higher awareness gives characters an advantage in initiative. If two characters have the same awareness, the one position in front will get the initiative. Uh, normal skills are your character's default abilities. The flourish is powerful but needs to be charged. Yeah, yeah, I know. Zingard is a useful way to defend against powerful attacks. You may even get a flourish point. You cannot use items or change relics during combat. However, you may check the map and bio for the benefit of planning your next move. Formation allows you to rearrange your team in the heat of combat. Run away is also a good option for avoiding combat. Monster types are indicated by the icon beneath the portraits. Uh, I don't. See... Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Special effect based on these types. Okay, so there's special effects based on. I forgot what my. Uh, what is a normal attack again? I completely forgot about those. Massive thrust damage, long range target. Rarely all targets allies receive plus one health, inspire status for. So she's the strongest one? There are three range types for every skill short range, mid range, and long range. Short range skills are only available while the position in the first or second slot and can only target enemies in the first or second slots. Mid range skills can be used in any position but can. Only target enemies in the first or second slots. Long range skills can be used in any position and can target any enemy position. Choose your target, your target radical visible on the enemy HUD. You can also speed up the pace of combat. So can I just... Okay, so I select people based on this. Just go with the guy in front, I guess. Hey, is that bad? Did I did I did I lose stuff? <laughs> I have no idea what this does, but I'll take it. Wow, that was um useful. Uh yeah. What the heck did I just do? Okay, so far it just seems like, you know, I'm not killing them at all. I'm just using special abilities. What happens if we just do this then? Nice. Okay, so normal attacks are just way better. Got it. Hey, we did it. Can loot them? Okay, well that sucks. I told you guys I had a bad feeling about this place. You're the one that insisted we come out here to begin with. By all means, continue growing amongst yourselves if you want to be ice tub pups. <laughs> God damn it. We have the spoils we came for and it's colder than the witch's tent out here. I, for one, am ready to return. Hold up, guys. I see a buddy. Looks like a girl. Who is it? Hmm. She's not from Delarac. I don't recognize her. No other scavenging teams came up here today, either. Well, we can't help... Wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, we can't help her right now. Search the buddy. Seriously? You search her? 
Wait, she's still breathing. B -b breathing. We should help her. Who knows how long she's been out here. You want to bring her back? Are you mad? We have no clue who she is. She could be with the green flame for all we know. He doesn't look like one of them. We can't risk compromising Delarax locations. Celeste will have our heads. And what if she knows how to cast a strange magic? Don't have to worry about that. She's unconscious, Captain Lanville. She'll decide her fate. Oh. Looks like it's your lucky day, girl. Did I did I win? Once read, a man would have to go below the waves to understand the true scale of an iceberg. Reminds me of you, dear father. Oh, I thought I thought she meant me for a second. Yes, Thank you. Really knew you. But but no, it was a father. After all, how does one get the measure of a man when there's so much beneath the surface? Nevertheless, I owe my survival of Zumurud's blistering deserts and the wild forests of Sylvia to your training. When I was summoned home to Edina, in order to read your last will and testament, I didn't know what to expect. I suppose it comes as no surprise you remained a mystery even in death. I now find myself beckoned to the dwarven realm of Darkheim by the encrypted journal and ancient relic you left behind. On an expedition to the cursed city of Isenir, answers you never provided I shall not be daunted my determination is equal to the task at hand if as you say this vambrace is the key to entering that forbidden city I will find what I seek my journey has been difficult since the Vambrace entered my possession, I have been plagued by unsettling dreams of a ghostly blade cutting me down. Could it be that he sees the future? Oh, what? Chapter 1, the adventurous. Oh, look at it. It's her in the bottom corner there. That's nice. At least now I know my game hasn't frozen. <coughs> what voice should I give her? Should I just give her a deep voice? And... Oh, my head! Glad you could join us, Sleeping Beauty. Who are you? Let's make this clear. I'm the one asking questions here. You can start with your name. My name is Lyric. Evelia Lyric. I'm Lenville Esquire. You're lucky we found you. A moment later and you would be another piece of frozen decor gracing the streets. I must have fainted. I've never felt a tear like that before. We are unfortunately well acquainted with it here. Celeste had a half a mi mind to leave you out up there. What? what? Had a half a mind. Sometimes it's hard to like figure out what some of the letters are because of the, the font. But uh, the font does fit the team, so I'll give them that. So I don't mind it at all. Uh, Celeste had half a mind to leave you up there. Good for you. She's not calling the shots and I was feeling generous. Up there? Oh wait, that's her. So we are on the ground? Looks like I've got a sharp one in my hands. I took the liberty of searching your stuff. A bunch of climbing gear and a strange book nobody can read. Explain. I came seeking answers about my father, the late Dr. Nicolau Lyric. I traveled here from Medina with his journal. Uh, right, everyone knows nobody goes in and nobody ever comes out of Eisner. Eisner, you mean I'm here? I actually made it inside the city? Suppose for a moment I entertained your absurd story. How the hell did you get past the Frostfell? That barrier around the city, I walked through it. Enough of this nonsense. You think I haven't seen what happens when someone touches it? Innocent death. The only freaks wandering the surface are either spooks, mad survivors, or the green flame. You're n and not a dead, and far as I can tell, you're still sane. So let's cut through, through the crap. What's your connection with the green flame? Uh, I don't know them. Green what? 
Green Flame, the Arconic Cult, Hellbender destroying the Guardian Alliance. Ring any bells, or have you been living under a rock? They're the ones responsible for this frozen curse? I can assure you I'm not with them. I just got here. You're serious, aren't you? Well, I imagined my surprise to learn some Edenia decided to take a leash stroll on the surface. Listen, I have a matter of great urgency. I'm looking for an individual named Sagrad. Do you know him? Ah, uh, there's nothing left for us to discuss right now. But I'm feeling Jay crazy today, so tell you what. I'm giving you tentative permission to move about Delarc until I figure out what to do with you, that is. Delarc? Oh, that's the name of our lovely abode deep below Ice Nair. Welcome to paradise. You're just letting me go? There's nowhere to run, so you'd best make yourself at home. In fact, take this. You'll need some if you want to survive down here. What's this? We call it Hellion. It's the only currency worth anything down here. Considered a little welcome gift. I've never seen paper money. Try anything funny and you're dead in a cell or right back on the surface where we found you. Are we clear? Crystal. I see what it did there. I'm finished. Is there anything to eat down here? You can run while you're in the lag. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, this is the Codex Illumin Illuminus. It's separated into two sections, the Codex and the Journal. In books to view the journal, it contains details on your current mission and goal. You can choose from completed and working mission sections. So this is running. I'm fast. Hello. I can't turn a look at you, but hello. Um... The captain's finished with you, eh? That was fast. Please wait while I process your paperwork. Alright, I'll just go the other way then. Oh, look at this. How to keep your body warm? Step one, make a fire. Stand in front of the fire and be warm. I'm not gonna say step two or three, okay? Who are you? Hmm. Keep a distance from her or you are bound to lose a limb. That's Isabel Les Salazar. The woman knows black magic. Consider yourself warned. I can't place her, for, but for some reason she looks so familiar. I, I, I'm only going to use the female voice for one, otherwise my voice is dying. So the frost wind howls around you. Your presence here will bring much anguish. What? I don't understand. Your paperwork is done. Scram before we change your mind. Oh, that's kind of cute. I like that. <laughs> Pretty nice. Now, now, I'm very fast. Now, wait, wait, wait. So, how do I open up the journal again? Can I go back inside? I would like to go back inside, please. Where am I now? That's 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 the character. But like, this is the quest journal. This is the Codex Illuminus. Illuminus, yeah. Uh, it's separated into two sections. Okay, you can choose from completed and working mission sections. Uh, okay, good to know. Oh, so bright. Uh. Whoops, my bad. Um, journal, yes. Go to Ice now, my dearest daughter. I pray the All Mother has kept you in good health. If you're reading this, then I am already gone. I bequeath to you the entity of my estate and this Vambrace. I know you have questions. The answers you seek will not be found in Edina. You hold now my Codex Illuminus. Its enchanted pages have been scattered through the ice snare. Should you decide the truth, I beg you to follow these instructions. Equip this relic and enter the cursed city. The Vambrace will protect you. Find my lost pages and seek the one named Sagwat. Your father. Okay. Who are you? Wow, are these? I've heard stories about these machines, but I've never seen one up close. Wow, 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 wow. Looks like a real Tin Man. I wonder how it works. Huh. 
Found the page of the codex. Nice. I, I can't tell whether it's broken or resting. What's up? Are you amazed? There are no other technical marvels like them in this world. Yeah, they are quite remarkable. Did you make these yourself? My name is Volsung and this is my workshop. Yep, my faithful servants are the handiest. Have you ever met a golem before? Golem? Uh, I'm not surprised. The Dini don't have the same knack for engineering we do. No offense, of course. There's a lot of complex tech running underneath the hood of these ten men. The inside compartment is made out of... Trails off? Well, you're quite the handyman. Wait, oh wait, you got the handyman. How do they work? These superior golems are powered by my special brand of engineering and a bit of Sylvani hedge magic. They run on enchanted apples. Too bad Talindra won't help me anymore. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have work to do. Okay. They can do some pretty complex tasks. Gwal? Hi, Tin Man. How are you today? Quack, quack. I think they understand me, but don't seem to too bright. This is Derek's cabinet. You can store items from your inventory here. You can access the items you stored from a cabinet located in Wilson's workshop at the market as well. Okay. I mean, that's pretty cool. All right, and with that, I end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm certainly excited about this one. Because uh, it seems pretty cool, and I would love to play more of it. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, click the like button. If you want to see more from me, search by 8000. Click the subscribe button, and I hope to see you in the next one. And as always, stay awesome.